Hey there, it's Tony. Um, I'm here today to show you guys my Ground Fox server uh, storage facility. Uh, my entry for the server invitation that I will try to enter for. Um, this is a project that I've been working on for a few days now uh, over Thanksgiving break. And hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving break, by the way, if you're in the U.S. and celebrate it. Um, but yeah, so I um, tried to make it, tried to make it as more like a ground fog sign up 360 kind of you know sh style and theme I guess you would say like that wood and um, natural water feeling I guess. Um, I will leave a link down below to his channel if you guys haven't seen him. And yeah, I guess that's it. Let's begin. As you guys can see. There's nothing much really on the outside. This is only because this outer area is supposed to be underground or inside a mountain somewhere below ground or something that has something covering around it, basically. Uh, that made no sense, but just basically something that will cover it because this is not supposed to be shown on the outside anyway. And don't mind that over there. That's a that's an old that's my first entry that I tried, but it failed like the style so entering the entire first lobby area you come into this very very warm calm feeling with a center area just for relaxing and basically you know yeah just like a calm warm feeling um the water gives the natural effect with the leaves and the logs um the grand stairways going up the entire thing on the side we have our chest that we can store items in um, there are crafting tables laid around the entire circle dome um, along with furnaces and item paintings with items in them to show the kind of items that can be placed in there um, these are pistons that are transparent with um, jack-o-lanterns below them to give some lighting I'll set it tonight real quick. Let's wait for that to go down. And you guys can see the light just show the entire thing up. Come on, hurry up. The sun going down. Um, but yeah, walking up, up here. It's a very natural feeling, you know, just like a open area that you can just come to and hang out for a bit, I would say. Nothing to, like, do much, but it's just an open area to hang out in as you can see along with the glowstone on the sides um the pumpkins underneath are lighting up through the pistons and the pistons are there just to give a good look to it so um on the sides you can see a mixture of trimming with dark wood and lighter wood um very unique details to the added to the sides um and that's I that's I guess that's it. Moving down to the pit area, the center pit. Down here we have four ender chests are inside the pools of the fountains that are going down, and basically down to our final area down here. As you can see, I just dropped into a smaller pit down here. It's much smaller in size, you can see, but um, basically what this is is a main storage room, not not storage sorry like a um i would say like a kind of a other kind of function room you know with a potion lab here this is cnb minecraft's potion lab which i modified to fit only five instead of six ingredients on each side just made it perfect um save so your strength potion here your fire resistance your healing regeneration and swiftness and then the new potion ingredient that was added, um, night vision slash invisibility with a f fermented spider eye. These are the extra variables, um, gunpowder for splash, fermented spider eye for corrupt corruption, redstone for duration, and glowstone for potency. Um, and this is just a little pit of water just to get for glass bottles. Um, right here, what we have is a enchantment table by Redstone Innovation. It's very nice. You basically use a redstone torch as a key 
place it there and it opens so basically what you have is this enchantment room that does come come with um customized customized yeah customizable yeah sorry customizable uh, levels which you can change from 30 here now down to 28 22 now 18 and that's the lowest I remember if correctly uh, on the side you do also have hidden chests they sorry this is a weird screen moving you have hidden chests that you can place secret items in so a little extra privacy I guess move this back here and just to reset it back to 30 you just place that there to close it simply step on it and there you go it's closed oh, I need to fix that that yeah I need to put a half slab okay um, basically on this side as well it's just oh wait I already explained this but oh little lighting effect in the back as well for the potion labs um, here I'll show you guys how it works real quick so if I wanted to do say um, a strength potion, yeah, let's do that. Just right click there, wait for the items to drop down, and we get our items. We get three glass bottles, another wart, and a blaze powder. And basically, you can just take the water from here, and then just put it inside of. You can just put it with a brewing stand that's assigned with a thing and just basically start brewing and then you can just click buttons over here to get the extra variable that you need so that's basically it um, and in here the main awesome one uh, this is cube hamsters uh, 3x3 simple door one wide uh, I did make a tutorial on it if you guys want to see that I will leave a link down below but basically I have a tripwire hooked up to it and attached to a tip T flip flop so let's do it and as you walk in you have this amazing little storage room that's very comfortable as well it's a you know a little compact and kind of comfy feeling as well because you're a little fort fortified in here a little fort this is a little panic button just in case you ever step over the wire twice and you get closed in here works the same as a wire you can close and open um, here you have extra chests splash potions anvil drinking potions juke um, tools and your chest again I, I gave a little skull head just to make a awesomeness effect I guess uh, pickaxe tools shovel tools anvil and swords armor is above with armor and stuff and these are two extra chests as well so basically that is my cover for my entry into the ground fox server i hope they like it and i don't have much more to say besides that um i hope you guys like it rate uh like subscribe comment below give me your opinions of what you like and you what you don't like and i guess i'll see you guys next time this is tony and i'm signing out